Good evening and welcome to this which I hope will be another interesting look into the explanations for historical events well not really explanations because we already have explanations but further understanding on what causes us to do what we do and here you're looking at a picture which may look a bit confusing and I'll um, at some point in this video I'll flash through quite a few of the other attempts I made to see if I could understand what's going on here and the biggest dilemma I had was is it the 798 year wave or is it the 2128 year wave and the conclusion I've come to is it is both a bit of symbiotics going on here uh, there's going to be a lot more to understand about this but I believe what we have correct here is the frequency of the waves so the length of the wave so the heights might not be quite correct the gradients possibly different obviously if the heights different the gradients different so but the frequency when they cross the line when they hit the high point when they hit the low point so I knew the 2128 had to be a low point on the big wave and I really felt like obviously well then zero would be as well because it's a 2128 wave so I had that to go with and the other wave is um, two and two thirds the shorter than the long wave so it does sink in with it and what I was messing about with mostly is does it sink in with it at the high and low points or does it sink with it in the crossing points and as we can see in this picture here it sinks in the crossing points so at the beginning they both start at so naught going up and right in the middle you can see they switch now one's going up one's going down and then at the end again they sink again and they end up both going up now that makes most sense to me in the story of what what we've got to come because come the seventh trumpet and 2128 it is done you know it's like the good things ahead so both waves should soon be going up uh, which they are after a bit <laughs> um, and year zero if we if we if we look at year zero we are down in the depths and now what's interesting is that the like I said they sink at the crossing points so you can't get a point where both waves are sinking when they're both at the top or both at the bottom and in a sense I guess that's quite good isn't it you wouldn't want both of them exactly the same time because I have a feeling here like that one of the waves is is like related to like mother god and one of the waves related to father god something like that oh I'll just add in here when I remember I forgot to say in my last video one of the reasons I think for these waves is that we are in God's universe you know our souls our cause we have our own universes which are developing and growing and you know clearly not ready for us to have an existence in and we're not ready for that and it's much better to be in God's universe with all our brothers and sisters having experiences and I think that's part of the reason for this these waves is that while we're in God's universe while we're using God for our growth and everything then we are subject to the movements of God 
and this the sun and the planets and everything else right so we're subject to that um, I haven't been able to find any planetary um, relationships to these waves but they are based on the they are still based on the 19 year metonic cycle of the moon which involves the earth the sun and the moon so I guess in a way that that could be all it is but I just had a quick thought then you know maybe the sun cycles might be related to this but anyway so I'm looking at this and I think and this this is has to be right um, because we've got that time in year zero where you know shocking time like the way the Romans treated everyone you know thousands of people were crucified in in one go you know lined up on the roads on crosses I mean such cruelty such and and if you look at the big wave from 532 BC to 532 AD it is below the midpoint so it's down and you've also got the, the mini wave coming reaching its lowest point in 66 AD so in the midst of that it's, and if you look at the bottom squiggly wave that's the combination of the two together so a real low point and so that, and that kind of had to be a, I figured that would be how it would be and um, we've got some high points you know just after 1064 you know were things good then well if you look there when things started to turn down was pretty much when the Crusades started to um, attack their own kind the Christians and so that was a seemed like a real low point and then when you uh, get after 1263 you got a very steep decline there and then we soon got the plague and stuff like that and then you know a little little improvement and get sort of the depths in 1662 and comes up a little bit and then starts heading down again well not yet you know we've got a little bit a little knobble to come up and then there's more down to come so well that's the future so we don't know but looking at things in the past so obviously 1064 must BC must have been a good time that's time of David so but it's very difficult to get my mindset into how things were it's almost impossible to to check this if you like so I just think it is interesting and I will be working on it a lot more and I will share what I find so uh, yeah I'll quick show you some of the images I've been mucking about with and I've because I've worked out on Excel how to do the the uh, proper sine curve and stuff you got to add something. No wonder I never knew how to do it. You have to take your numbers, and then you've got to put in a section called radians, and then you can use the sine, cosine, whatever, whichever one you want, and then get a value that you can make curvature graphs with. So, yeah, thanks, uh, someone on YouTube for. Uh, making it easy to figure out but how would you ever figure that out on your own it's just crazy it's, it's like they don't want us to you know um so yeah i'll show you some of the images so i've i've done the so basically part of this if if you were to see the 19 year wave on here it would just look like squiggles there would be so many of them and they'd be very short so it would just look like a squiggle we wouldn't really be able to get anything from it but you'll see from some of the images um, what I've been doing so it looks like we've got a lot of waves going on so it looks like we've got six in total that I know about so we've got the uh, two day two month two year where women and men are on the opposite ends 
and then we've got the 19 year, the 798 year, and the 2128 year, which affects everybody on Earth all the same. And, uh, oh, very interesting indeed.